Hi and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we show you how to cook a Masaman curry. We cook it with chicken. First of all, we are going to chop up some onions. And uh, in this case, we chop up the onions into eight pieces. And they should be the size that you see on the video now. It's very important that they aren't too small because we want them to actually add a lot of texture to this curry dish. A masaman curry is a Thai curry dish, one of the very uh, classic Thai dishes, but it is not a very spicy dish. What we do now is we will chop up the potatoes uh, that are also going into our curry dish. We don't want these to be too large, so we actually cut our potatoes into eight pieces as well. The potatoes will actually be cooked directly in the curry sauce. So they go into the sauce all raw and that is why we don't want them to be too large because it's very important that they can actually cook thoroughly during those around 20 minutes that they are in the sauce. We will now let the potatoes rest in some cold water to avoid them from turning brown because we are now going to chop up our chicken. We want this chicken in some chunks that are kind of easily eaten. You eat this dish uh, using uh, of course you could use chopsticks, but otherwise you just eat it using a spoon. And as such, it's very necessary that the pieces of chicken are, are not too large so that you can just take them in using the spoon. We use chicken for this uh, masaman curry. You could also use beef or lamb, whatever you're up for. We will now fry our onions up in some oil in a pan. And here we start to just uh, separate the pieces of onion so that they won't be layered. Uh, and as such, we'll also get a lot more texture to our dish. We really want these onions to go nice and sweet now, so that's why they cook for around 10 minutes before we add in our masaman curry paste. We now add the paste and we want it heated up uh, in the pan, so of course we'll, we'll let it stay in the pan for a while with the onions before we add in any other ingredients. We want the flavors to really just evolve and open themselves to the dish and that is done best by just cooking it without adding anything else so far. At this point we thought our pan was going a little dry so we added in a bit more oil and I can tell you that we cook with uh, canola oil. So now we are going to pour in our coconut milk as we are at that stage and uh, it is very important to now let the dish simmer away um, we'll let it cook for around 15 minutes uh, before we actually get this stage where the sauce will start to separate a little bit so you'll see an oily layer on top and that is when we can then add in other ingredients. So we have our pan at around medium high heat. We now add in palm sugar. It is a sweetener that is used very much in Thai cuisine and uh, it is very sweet. We actually at some point thought it should have a little bit more, so we added more than just a quarter piece. Uh, we now add fish sauce to the sauce. Fish sauce smells horrible, but it does give us a fantastic taste to the dish, so do not avoid adding this. After that, we can add in our potatoes that we chopped earlier. And as you can see, they go in all raw, so they're going to be cooked completely by the sauce. The same goes for the chicken. It goes in completely raw to the curry sauce and um, it will now have to cook for 15 to 20 minutes at medium high. We like our, um, our chicken to not be too dry. That is why we also constantly have to keep an eye on, uh, on the cooking process. At this point, we also toast up some peanuts in the pan on the side in order to have something to, to sprinkle on top. You can use salted or unsalted peanuts according to what you prefer. As you can see, now our masaman is done. The potatoes are cooked. They do not, uh, you do not want them to be too soft, uh, so they should not just only be cooked. We serve up our masaman here with jasmine rice that are perfectly cooked, and uh, we sprinkle on some of our toasted peanuts on top, and then we can actually just dig into the dish. Here, as you can see, we eat it with a spoon, so uh, that is why it's essential that the pieces in the bowl are actually quite as accessible and easy to eat without having to cut them up. That is one hell of a delicious meal. So comforting and so Asian. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to MTV Cooking on YouTube and find us on Instagram. See you later. Bye bye.